okay so good afternoon welcome back we have already seen in my previous four videos in the first video we discussed about conversion of ordinum ordinary number which we are calling it as ordinary form into standard form with positive indices then in exercise 2 we went for standard form with negative indices then in exercise 3 we solved problems related to percentage so how to find x percent x as a percentage of y how to express it and x percentage of y how to do it those sums we have solved then in exercise 4 we discussed about multiplying factor if there is an increase is taking place in any quantity and which is given in the form of percentage how to find the new value so we found original value we found multiplying factor and thereby using that multiplying factor we found increase or decrease in this exercise 5 actually we are going to have complete revision of the four videos or the four topics which we have discussed in the four videos complete revision we are going for okay so as i have already mentioned here this particular video will be extremely useful for the students who are in igcsc board grade 8 but it is not limited only to them it is also useful for all other students who want to clarify their basic concepts related to standard form ordinary form percentage multiplying factor each and everything so mathematics any type of mathematics any type of subject is not only related to the person who is specifically studying or to the students who are specifically studying in that particular board it is useful for everyone internationally okay so i express my sincere thanks to all my students parents all stakeholders who at least pay a little attention towards my video and if in a fraction they are getting benefited i am thankful to them i am thankful to their comments which is making me to get improved day by day i feel learning is a never ending process so i also start learning keeps on learning and just a fraction of it or you can say whatever i know i am trying to share with you all so let us proceed towards solving the problems and here also i will be discussing a little bit about what actually ordinary form what actually standard form what is percentage and what is a multiplying factor so ordinary form if we are given any number like 5 4 8 6 we are given this number so this is called ordinary number simply but when the same number we are expressing it in standard form we are first putting one integer okay and the number will be between 1 to 9 then we are putting decimal and then we are writing 4 8 6 and into 10 to the power some power will be there so here it is 10 to the power 3 so this is called the standard form of this ordinary number 5 4 8 6 so in ordinary number we don't put 10 to the power whether it is positive indices or whether it is negative indices that doesn't matter we don't put any power okay right now when we are going for conversion of standard form to ordinary form we will be utilizing laws of indices compulsorily so which are the laws of indices we will be utilizing we will be utilizing the very first a m into a n is equal to a m plus n then we will be going for division 
so a m minus n then we will be going for uh, you can say a to the power m and n a to the power m n then we will be utilizing 1 by a to the power m is equal to a to the power minus m then further we will be let utilizing a to the power 0 is equal to 1 okay so these laws of indices we are going to use compulsorily whenever we are going for conversion of standard form to ordinary form and even in a standard form also we will be utilizing these laws of indices similarly so this is for positive indices so 3 is here positive but if we are given 0 0.5486 now in this case we will be converting it into standard form with negative indices how so this 5486 with positive indices we have converted in this form similarly this 0 0.5486 will be converting into standard form by writing as 5.486 into 10 to the power minus 1 as we have freed 5 we have moved the decimal towards right hand side by one place so 10 to the power will become minus 1 we have moved one place that's why it has become minus 1 if we would have moved to two places it would have become 10 to the power minus 2 so this is standard form with the negative indices this is with positive indices so exercise 1 was purely related to positive indices exercise 2 was purely related to negative indices exercise 3 we discussed about percentage which i am going to tell you now okay so in percentage we utilized two formulas the very first one is x as a percentage of y and this one will be x by y into 100 and second formula we utilized that x percentage of y so this is x into y by 100 here also we can write no problem we can write x into 100 by y like this also we can write okay so x percentage of y now multiplying factor so suppose if i will tell you uh, let me say some example also so for first formula if we are saying that 20 as a percentage of 50 if i am saying then what it will be we can solve that 20 into 100 by 50 and this we have cancelled and it has become 40 and percentage we have to express it as percentage okay right now in case for second a formula we want to find out similarly if we say that 20 percentage of 50 then it will be 20 into 50 by 100 so 50 to the and 2 yes okay right so it will be giving to us as to 10 so it will become 10% sorry not percentage not percentage so 20% of 210 okay 20% of 50 so 20 into 50 by 100 we are writing okay so 52 ja and 210 ja so it will be 10 only okay right
right okay now multiplying factor so multiplying factor is if there is an increase if there is an increase in r that is rate of percentage as increase in r let me write like this as r percentage then multiplying factor will be equal to 1 plus r by 100 or even we can write 100 plus r by 100 okay so suppose if there is an increase as 20 percent then multiplying factor will be 100 plus 20 by 100 and this one will be giving us as 120 by 100 that is 1.20 will be the multiplying factor second one is if there is a decrease as r percent then multiplying factor will be equal to 100 minus r by 100 for an example if there is a decrease of 20 percent then multiplying factor here i will write will be equal to 100 minus 20 by 100 so it is giving to us as 0 0.80 will be the multiplying factor now let us solve the problem okay so the very first question we are given that 275 and 000, zero, zero. this is normal number in ordinary form okay so this is in ordinary form we need to convert in standard form using 10 to the power so we need to put the decimal here so 2.75 thousand okay so it will be now into 10 to the power how many places decimal we have put 1 2 3 4 and 5 so here it will become 10 to the power 5 okay right further if we want so this 0 0 0 no need to write we can simply write 2.75 into 10 to the power of 5 and if we will be solving it we will get 275000 similarly here we have we are going for this point 0 0.02 so the decimal has to be shifted to two places so we can write 2.75 into 10 to the power minus 2 two places we have to shift so this is in the standard form now question number 3 says write 3.5 into 10 to the power cube as ordinary number so 3.5 into 1000 and it will become 3 5 110 will be utilized for removing this decimal remaining two zeros will come here so it will become 3500 similarly this one is given to you as 3.5 into 10 power of minus 3 as an ordinary number so three places decimal we have to shift towards right hand sorry left hand side so it will be uh, 0 0.0035 okay 0 0.0035 
اوكي here we need to find 18% of 360000 dollar so simply 18 by 100 into 360000 which is actually dollar so these two zeros we will cancel okay and it will be so okay two zeros are there right and then we'll write six four eight dollar so that will be so it is sixty four thousand eight hundred dollar similarly we need to express it as percentage 250 meter as a percentage of 12,000 meter so we can write 240 okay by 12,000 into 100 now this two zeros we will cancel this 120 to 240 so this one will become 2 percentage similarly here in Luke's salary question number seven Luke's salary changes from 75,000 pound to 1 lakh pound per annum find the percentage increase in Luke's salary so the very first change we need to find that is 1 lakh minus 75,000 and this is giving to us as 25,000 pound. We need to find the percentage increase. Increase. So, will be equal to 25,000 divided by original amount 75,000 into 100 these three zeros three zeros we can cancel 25 by 3 and it is giving to us as 100 by 3 that is 33 1 by 3 percentage okay right now question number 8 is what marriage watch gains three minutes for every hour okay and we need to find the percentage error in Mari's watch at the end of one hour we know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes okay so one hour is equal to 60 minute will become exact value exact value okay whereas three minutes so gains three minutes in one hour so approximate value is equal to okay 60 plus three minutes so it has become 63 minutes okay now percentage error is equal to approximate value minus exact value and it is in mod divided by exact value exact value so therefore you can say approximate value is 63 minus exact value is 60 divided by 60 so it has given 3 by 60 sorry in 200 okay in 200 and it is giving to us as 3 by 60 in 200 325 so 5 percent is the error okay 5 percent is error 
will be the percentage error. Now question number 9. Increase 350 okay, dollar by 17.5 percent. Now we can say that increase is 17.5 percent. Therefore multiplying factor will be equal to 100 plus 17.5 divided by 100 that is 117.5 by 100 which we can write as 1.175 this one will become the multiplying factor therefore new value will be 1.175 into dollar 350 okay right so it is 1.175 into 350 dollar and it is 411.25 dollar now question number 10 so decrease 350 dollar by 17.5% we need to decrease it so if there will be a decrease then multiplying factor will be 100 minus 17.5 divided by 100 so it will become 82.5 divided by 100 which will be equal to 0 0.825 now the new value will be equal to dollar 350 into 0 0.825 which will be equal to 0.825 and it is giving to us as 288 dollar 0.75 okay so in this way exercise 5 is over now coming to exercise 5 star similar is the case but here little bit calculations we have to do so it is 4.5 into 10 to the power 3 plus 5 into 10 to the power of 3 right and uh, we will go for multiplication of 4.5 and 5 sorry here into is there here bracket is there okay so this one will be 4.5 into 5 into 10 to the power 3 plus 3 so this one will become 25 to 22.5 into 10 to the power of 6 okay further we can write as 2.25 into 10 to the power 7 that is for question number 1 then for question number 2 we need to write in a standard form so if we need to write in a standard form we need to go for adding them together first ok so if we will add them together so it will become 0 0.123 if we are adding them together and if we are writing in a standard form it will be equal to 1.23 into 10 to the power minus 1 we have shifted our decibel for one place then coming to question number 3 5.3 into 10 power of 4 plus 5.3 into 10 power of 3 we can take 5.3 common even if we are taking common so 10 to the power of 4 plus 10 to the power 3 will come we will not be able to apply laws of indices so better we will go for taking 10 to the power 3 as common and it will become 5.3 into 10 
plus 5.3 only and this is giving to us as 10 power of 3 and 5.3 into 10 is 53 plus 5.3 is equal to 10 power of 3 into 58.3 which can be written in a standard form as 5.83 okay into 10 to the power 4 it will be 10 to the power 4 okay right then question number 4 we are going to solve okay division is there so 2.5 into 6 we can write into 10 to the power 3 is there plus 2 is there and at the top it will go it will become plus 6 and in num denominator 3 only will be there so 3 2 just 6 will be cancelled and 2.5 into 2 will give you 5.0 into 10 to the power 8 plus 3 11 so 5.0 into 10 to the power of 11 it will be now question number 5 is what find 15 percent of the perimeter of a square of area 1024 meter square it is given to us so we need to solve it first first of all area of a square is given is equal to 1024 meter square we know that area of a square is equal to side square side square is equal to 1024 meter square thereby side we can find out by square root of 1024 meter okay so if we are going for finding out a square root of 1024 so we can find by long division method or we can go for some heat and trial method so it's better to go for long division method combined you can put it so 3 3 ja 9 minus 1 2 4 here also 3 will come 6 okay so 4 will be coming 62 2 ja 62 to the 124 it will be getting cancelled so 32 will be the 32 so the side will be 32 here 32 what 32 meter sorry 1024 so it will be meter square only so 32 meter once 32 meter side we have got so perimeter of a square is equal to 4 into side yes and then this one will be 4 into 32 meter so 8 12 128 meter will be the perimeter now 15 percent we need to find so 15 percent of 128 will be 15 into 128 by 100 okay and if we are going for 4 so 25 and 4 3 is a 12 4 2 is a 8 then 5 3 is a 15 and 5 5 is a 25 then it is becoming 3 2 is a 6 and 96 by 5 okay hmm 96 by 5 if we are going for finding out in decimal so we will be getting 515 then 46 59 of 45.2 meter as 15 percent then question number 6 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इज सेइंग दैट राइट अ टाइम ऑफ वन सेकेंड एज अ परसेंटेज ऑफ वन डे टाइम ऑफ वन सेकेंड एज अ परसेंटेज ऑफ वन डे सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू फाइंड इन वन डे इज इक्वल टू हाउ मेनी सेकेंड्स इन सेकेंड्स so this one will be in one day 24 hour used to be there and in one hour you can say 60 minute used to be there okay then in 60 minute 60 second used to be there <laughs> okay right so when we are multiplying them all the three together so we will be getting Eight six four zero zero seconds. Seconds in one day. So write a time of one second as a percentage of one day. So it will become one by eight six four zero zero. Right? Okay. One by Eight six four zero zero into hundred. Then these two zeros will get cancelled, and it will be one by eight six four, which can be written as as zero point zero zero one one five seven. Zero point zero zero. then 1157 1157 okay so like this it is there and now we need to express our answer in standard form to three significant figures we need to go for two three significant figures so if there are three significant figures so point After point zero zero will not be uh, taken as significant figure. We need to go for one one five seven is there, so that five will be getting changed to six due to that seven, and we can write one point one six. Okay, one point one six, and ten to the power. Okay. So three, one two three minus three. This one will be the one second, which we are representing in standard form. So this answer is one point one six into ten power of minus three. Okay, right. No need to write here. Okay, question number seven now. When Frederick buys a cup of coffee, he is given chance change. Sorry, he is given change of one point six five euro when he should have received one point five zero. So he is given change of one point six five. so that approximate value already we have discussed about in previous video so what is the formula for error uh, percentage error we have already discussed approximate value minus exact value by exact value into 100 so the same thing we are going to have discussion there okay so here a uh, given change of this much so this is approximate value 1.65 whereas exact value he should have received that is 1.50 now the error is percentage error 1.65 minus 1.50 divided by exact value that is 1.50 so it has become 0.15 divided by 
1.50 in 200 okay here also it is into 100 is equal to so 15 by 150 into 100 we can write further this one I am going to erase it not required already we have solved hmm. so this is 15 by 150 into 100 okay so 25 6 ja 150 25 4 ja 100 3 2 ja 6 and 3 5 ja 15 then this 2 and 2 will get cancelled and it is giving to us as 5 into 2 that is 10 10 percent is is the error 10 percent is error will be there okay now find the percentage error in x when it is estimated to be y x when it is estimated to be y and y is greater than x so estimated value or approximate value estimated value is also called as approximate value is y then exact value is equal to x percentage error y minus x by x into 100 now question number 9 erika's toy ski ski chalet is valued at 450 euro okay its value increases by 10 percent then decreases by 10 percent the year after what is the value of erika's toy after these two changes so here first multiplying factor first multiplying factor is 100 plus 10 by 100 and that is 110 by 100 1.10 second multiplying factor 100 decrease is taking place so minus 10 by 100 so 90 by 100 is equal to 0 0.90 now what is the value value of erika's toy after these two changes so value of erika's toy is equal to euro 450 into 1.10 into 0 0.90 okay right this will be equal to into okay into nine zero and this is giving to us as euro four forty five point five zero four forty five point five zero this will be the value of Erika's toy after these two changes. Now, in question number 10, Hakintade makes the following purchases and sales. He buys a jewel for rupees $180, sells it for $216. We need to find the percentage profit. 
so first of all we need to find profit is equal to dollar 216 minus dollar 180 so here selling price sp is dollar 216 and cost price cp is dollar 180 so for profit it is selling price minus cost price for loss which will be utilizing in b so it will be cost price minus selling price okay right now profit is dollar so 180 30 36 hmm 36 dollar is the profit therefore profit percentage profit percentage so dollar 36 divided by the original uh, cost so cp along with cp only we are comparing so it is 180 into 100 Thirty-six five and five twenty. It has given twenty percent as profit. So percent as profit is twenty percent. Then B. Now he buys a toy car for rupees one fifty. Sells it for rupees one twenty. Find his percent as loss. So we will find loss. So it is one fifty minus one twenty. Okay. So it is in negative if we are writing CP minus sorry loss CP minus SP. So one fifty minus one twenty dollar sign we need to put it compulsorily. Okay. One twenty. And this is giving to us as thirty dollar loss. Therefore, loss percentage is equal to thirty by one fifty dollar into hundred. So thirty five by twenty, and again twenty percent loss here profit. Twenty percent loss. So it is twenty percent loss has taken place. So in this way, we have solved exercise five and five star also, and we have gone for revision of complete chapter. Complete chapter we have revised, and I hope that certainly it will be benefiting you in some way or the other. And. your positive comment or negative comment it doesn't matter will make me to encourage get encouraged motivated and to bring further more videos like this so thank you very much my dear friends so understand learning is a never ending and nothing can replace hard work there is no research which can say that without doing hard work one can get success no absolutely no i challenge that if anybody can say that hard work can be replaced by any type of tonic any type of syrup or any type of solution never it will be okay so because full life full earth is depending on our hard work if everybody is doing hard work certainly he or she will be getting success thank you once again